Reverse lanes, of course, they can be tricky to figure out, but signs, they're kind of plastered all over the place to help with that confusion. Still, the signs don't seem to be enough considering all the drivers that are Stanley Roberts caught misbehaving. Oh, my bad, and I wasn't even paying attention, bro. What was this driver not paying attention to? Well, it's this sign and this sign and this sign sitting right next to the traffic signal where basically, unless your eyes have the ability to zoom in for a close-up, drivers can't help but see the sign. Yet on 7th Street in Phoenix between the hours of 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. and 6 p.m., the center lane becomes a reverse lane. So at key intersections like Missouri, you can't make a left-hand turn. I'll try that again. You can't make a left-hand turn. Really? Okay, let's try it this way. You are forbidden from making a left-hand turn. All right, I give up. Maybe people don't know the rules, or they simply forgot about it. How could you forget about it? I mean, there's signs everywhere that say, you know, the times, how could you forget? Honestly, I'm, I just moved from Washington, so I didn't even know, so. Yeah, there's so many crashes here because of people doing that, what you just did. Let's face it, either the city has to reconfigure these lanes or get rid of them altogether. Meanwhile, a few miles away, a suicide lane crash where the driver was issued a ticket for improper turning from a left lane. She actually admitted to me that it was her fault. And while I was there, watch as this Enterprise rental truck drives in the reverse lane in the wrong direction, basically going head on with other drivers until he gets instructed by a Phoenix police officer to move out the reverse lane. Also on the same day, another driver admitted to running the red and hitting another car. This is an improper left-hand turn. If the cars are coming toward you in reverse lane, you cannot make a turn across the suicide lane. The fine for making the unsafe turn is $179 and points on your record. And ignoring the no left turn signs, that is also a moving violation and will set you back $179. Well, I, I didn't know, so I'll know now. I won't turn like that. In Phoenix, Stanley Roberts for Arizona's family. If there is an issue you want Stanley to look into, drop him a note at copmisbehaving at azfamily.com. You can also connect with him on Facebook or Twitter.